Stephanie Adams was born in Orange, New Jersey on July 24, 1970. Raised by aunts Joyce and Pearl, both former models themselves would push Stephanie to follow in their footsteps. She began her career as a model after graduating the Ophelia Divorce School of Shore, appearing in magazines such as Venus Swimwear in 17, also acting in commercial advertisements for Claire Hall. Her charisma and natural beauty would eventually lead to her getting her biggest gig to date in 1992, becoming Playboy's Miss November of that year. Also that same year, she would earn her bachelor's degree from Fairleigh Dickinson University. In 1999, Stephanie began a skincare product company named Goddessy. In February of 2003, Stephanie featured as the cover story for She Magazine. In the article, she would come out as a lesbian, the first planet to do so. In 2006, Adams would find herself under the limelight again as a New York City cab driver made a false claim against Stephanie, saying she was armed and threatening to shoot him. The cab driver was fined for a false claim. During the incident, Adams would say the police had thrown her to the ground, injuring her neck and back. She would end up suing the NYPD. She would eventually win the case in 2012 being awarded near $400,000. Stephanie would later say she had no animosity towards the police. In 2009, Stephanie was engaged to Charles Nikolai, a Manhattan chiropractor, and the two would be married in 2010. Once they were married, Stephanie announced her retirement from her public lifestyle and began to enjoy her life as a wife and a mother. It is not recorded or known the stresses of Stephanie's and Charles's marriage, just that by 2018, a bitter divorce and custody battle had ensued between the two. It would all come to a head after a dispute about Stephanie taking their son Vincent on a vacation trip. On the evening of May 17, 2018, Stephanie Adams and her seven-year-old son would check into the Gotham Hotel in Manhattan. Within 24 hours of checking into the hotel, both would be found dead on the second floor balcony. Stephanie had thrown her son from the 25th floor and would follow him shortly after. News articles at the time would say that she fell from the 25th floor holding her son. Detectives, however, believe she had thrown her son Vincent from the balcony therefore ruling his death as a homicide. Stephanie was an incredibly talented woman, a model, and an author, with beauty and grace. Her suicide was unforeseeable, even more so hurting her child. Friends and family say that Vincent was her entire Hello out there, this is Mike, your narrator for Diving Deep. Thank you very much for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give us a like, a subscribe, and if you have anything to say, please comment on the video. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time a new video is up. I just wanted to put this as sort of a disclaimer. I am not trying to glorify suicide. I'm trying to make sure the victims of this monster are not forgotten, that from their stories we may learn a better way to fight. If you or anyone you know is suffering from depression or suicidal thoughts, please contact the Suicide Hotline. Once again, thank you for watching the video.